Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm Jeffrey, and subscribe to this channel for more sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Now I'm switching gears a little bit from football, college football. I got a college basketball video topic for you today. Amani Bates, the former five-star uh, phenom freshman, is arrested after a gun was found in the car he was driving. The ESPN article says that they claim that Imani Bates was, uh, he was in a car that was somebody else's, It was he was borrowing it or whatever, and the gun was in the, I guess it was concealed or whatever, probably in the glove box or whatever, and now he's arrested, and he's in a lot of trouble. He, he's been released, and uh, now he's been suspended by Eastern Michigan, uh, where he, he won't be able to play until maybe his, his stuff gets dropped. Now, the thing about Imani Bates is that, to me, I'm not saying that this is all blamed on, on reclassifying, but Imani Bates was the number one prospect in the 2022 college basketball recruiting class, and Imani Bates decides to reclassify to 2021, where he wouldn't be eligible for the NBA draft because he was too young, and he went to Memphis. And... Again, there's nothing wrong with reclassifying. Players do it all the time. And usually I disagree with players reclassifying to begin with because, to me, you're not ready for college a year early and you need, you know, on and off the, off the floor or the field depending on, on the sport. And, for example, in basketball, since so we're doing basketball, Christian Lander was a guard for Indiana and he reclassified a year early and he has had barely any success on the floor uh, and he transferred to Western Kentucky. And there's been other players, Duke and several other programs have had players reclassify, and they weren't ready. And this happens in football, too. Less in football because usually players aren't ready, you know, for the hits and, and tackles that you're going to get in football. But to me, it's not just about your production on the field or on the floor. It's also about how you are conducting yourself off the field and the floor. And with Imani Bates... To me, Amani Bates was not ready for college. He shouldn't have reclassified. He should have stayed in high school. But, again, he decided he wanted to go to Memphis. He has a bad season at Memphis. And, again, he couldn't go to the NBA draft anyway because he was too young, but he had a bad season at Memphis. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but he only averaged nine points, and he had a back injury that kept him out over half the season. And he missed a lot of time. He was not, he was not healthy, and he just struggled. And I don't know all the stuff that happened in Memphis, but he transfers from Memphis and he goes back to his hometown, hometown school, Eastern Michigan, and he was going to play for them this year. But now Monty Bates is in trouble, even if it is true with, with the fact that he's in his, somebody else's car and it's not exactly his fault. All this stuff going on, Imani Bates obviously is is with you know somebody that's not he he knew somebody that wasn't trustworthy, and unfortunately he got in trouble. And to me, this is just the classic case of you're not ready, and you think you're ready, but you're not ready for college. You're not ready for the grown up world. And hopefully for Imani Bates, he can get all this stuff figured out because he he was a very talented player in high school, but ever since he's reclassified, he, he's gone downhill for him. And it's looking further and further away for him to ever go to the NBA where he was once considered a potential number one draft pick. Ever since he reclassified and went to Memphis and he was hurt and he didn't have a good season and now he go, he's going to Eastern Michigan, which is usually not a school where number one draft picks and you know five-star recruits are going to the pros. Usually you're going to go to your Kentuckys and your Dukes. And he, I mean, Memphis is a good place too because, I mean, you got Penny Hardaway as the head coach at, you know, Memphis, and he was an NBA player. But he, he just it just seems like everything's spiraling down for him, for Imani Bates. And at, he's at Eastern Michigan, and then this happens, and he's in trouble with the law. And I really hope for Imani Bates that he can get all this figured out because I would like to see him in the NBA one day because I think he can be a, a good NBA player, maybe even a great NBA player. But he's got to get all this stuff figured out. And hopefully for Imani Bates, he doesn't get any in any trouble again. And hopefully that he can get back on to the floor this fall in Eastern Michigan, play well. Maybe eventually he'll be an NBA draft pick in the future. Subscribe to the channel for more sports content. Like this video, download, comment down below what you think about the Imani Bates situation and uh, what his future looks like, and I will see you next time.